Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today I'm going to show you how to make all of your prints, or most of them, adhere properly to the print bed. Uh, when I first got my 3D printer, I had loads of problems and I assumed, wrongfully, that there was something wrong with the 3D printer. After doing a lot of different experiments and so on, I realised that the error was not with the 3D printer, but with me. So I followed two, basically two steps and now I can get pretty much anything to adhere to the print bed. Um, very occasionally I will use a little bit of hairspray if the um, the like footprint of the 3D print I'm doing is very very small and needs to hold a lot of sort of height or whatever. Anyway I'll show you how to do that it's just two steps quite simple but once you do them you know it, it changes the way you print from then on you've got a lot more confidence in your prints. Before we do that, I'd just like to thank Paul and David, my patrons. Your support is awesome, guys, and I really do appreciate it. Anyway, let's get on. So what two things can I tell you that's going to help? Basically, it's as simple as clean your print bed as best you can with isopropyl alcohol or things like it, and make sure your print bed is as level as humanly possible. This will stop any problems with print jobs in the future. You will still have the odd one, but not because they've come away from the print bed or more often than not. If you know how to do this and you're fairly confident at this, then I'd leave the video there. Otherwise, if you want some tips and tricks and a full tutorial on how to do that, keep on with the video. I hope you enjoy. So this is a perfect example of laziness and not leveling your bed up properly. Um, this was very lucky that I got this to fully uh, print out and I'll show you why now. Okay, over this side you'll see that on all of the brim it's very, very um, solid basically and over this side you'll see that it's not it's sort of like covered in hairs let's say and I'll, I'll zoom you in now so you can see both parts so if you look on this side where the actual extruder wasn't l close enough to the bed it's actually basically not connected together so each line of the filament is separate from the rest whereas over here it's nicely stuck together and it's caused a you know a coherent bond if I hadn't have been downstairs I would have lost this whole print and basically if you have a look at all these little dots and lines and scrapes. It's actually where I got my um, soldering iron on a low heat and I literally touched it and slowly stuck it back down to the bed. Otherwise all of this would have started coming up. If you have a look, none of it's really connected to anything because of it's so loose and wobbly. So all I need to do, knowing this, is le uh, level this side of the bed, get it a bit, a tiny bit lower. Um, other than that, the print did come out, but it was purely because I was able to actually save it. So that's a little tip if you find that you're partway through a print and this has happened. If you've got a soldering iron and you can change its temperature, put it down low, um, not super low, but low enough so that it will melt the, um, well, in this case, the PLA, but not so hot that it just starts to, you know, vaporize it completely um, and just slowly, like, try and stick it back to the bed. Um, I did somewhere, I'm not sure where, I did, like, a line where, oh, it was down here. I was doing lines because it just wasn't sticking and eventually it stuck to the bed and then I was able to complete the print, um, which was good. This is just another thing that happens if you don't level your bed and you should do this. If you're using it all the time, just do it once a week. It should be fine. But I'm going to actually print out a um, bed level test and I'll be able to show you um, exactly where the, the problems are and then we can look into solving them. Here are just a few um, examples of when the bed's not quite properly level and what happens is the um, first um, layer doesn't adhere to the bed properly and basically you come down a few hours later and it's been moving all over with the 3d uh, with the print head and um, yeah this is what happens you know um, and I genuinely thought at first, oh, it's the 3D printer, you know, it's not very good. I'm going to need glue sticks. I'm going to need this, that, and the other. And all it is is you just need to make sure that you've aligned it properly and the bed is dead flat and you're fine. It'll work perfectly. First step, make sure your bed is clean. And I like to use isopropyl alcohol and um, a microfiber cloth and a shot glass, just joking. Um, and give it a good wipe because a lot of times the bed not sticking is because it's dirty um, from the resins and residues left by the PLA or you know the stuff you last used. So give it a good clean and let it dry off naturally and then we'll get to leveling. Right first thing you need to do when sorting out the bed is turn it on 
go to prepare, go down to auto home, Once that's done, go to Disable Stepper. What disabling the stepper allows you to do is move the actual head freely without actually fighting against the stepper motor. And what you want to do now is get yourself a piece of paper or a piece of, I've got a piece of um, like uh, junk mail basically, and put it underneath. What you're hoping to do is be able to place the piece of paper underneath, but so that it's a little bit tight. At the moment, this is just flopping around like a wet fish and so it's not doing anything for, um, the, basically it's too high away from the bed. And this is why we had all of that problem with the print I showed you. What you want to do is turn the wheel here, this way, which is up. So towards its left hand side. And plop this in. Right now, you will see, it can still move freely, but it's not, it's, it's being sort of held a little bit. There you go, that's perfect. Now, carefully pull the bed forward, and I always put a piece of paper underneath, so I made the mistake of pulling it forward too fast, and the back was too high, and it scratched the bed. You don't want to damage the bed at all. Now the back one is the same, all you want to do is turn it, this one needs to go down a bit because it is a little high, uh, still a little high, there you go, and it's a little bit, you know, it's it's not touching the bed but it's it's not got much room to get under, okay, same again, I'm going to push this along this way and do this side. There you go. Right, that one instantly has got too tight. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make it go down, uh, which is that way. And let's try and do this side now. So I've taken it really far down now, so now I need to just slowly go back up there you go now again i'm just going to push it across make sure that's not too tight which it is and i'm going to loosen it up a little bit and i'm going to go from one side to the other doing this all all again always keeping the paper under the extruder just to make sure it does not scratch the bed if it starts getting too tight, it will scratch into the paper and you've got a little bit of time before scratching the bed. Okay, so we head over to Thingiverse to here and the link will be in the description and we download the Ender 3 bed level test. Um, and basically it's just as simple as this. I shrink it down to 75%, no 65% I think, and put it on the bed. Okay, and there it is. Now, uh, let me just get a bit more. There you go. Um, it started to break because it started to cool down and it started to contract, but that is absolutely perfect. Now, I haven't had to do it this time, but every now and again, I will have to use a little touch of hairspray, but not every time. Um, I would never use glue on this, but only if you're doing something this, this small, that you might have to um, use hairspray. But as I say, this time I haven't had to, thankfully.
Okay, there you go. Um, basically, two steps and you shouldn't have any more um, fails. Uh, there, are, there are the occasion I still get a failure, but it's like maybe one in 15, possibly like uh, somewhere around that. But it's within the first like 25 minutes. Um, I, it's when it's trying to adhere to the bed. And then I realize that I've obviously not done something correctly. And it's normally that I've just not um, put the bed properly. Um, so a little bit more alignment and then it's all fine. Um, as I said in the intro, uh, very occasionally I will use um, hairspray if it's something that's very, very small footprint or you know, maybe it's gonna be something very tall and very, very thin. Then I might use a bit of hairspray just to give it that extra help. Um, but all in all, the actual print bed for the Ender 3 version 2 is extremely good. And it holds on very, very tight to objects when they're hot. And once it's cooled down, they pop off the bed really, really easily. So I really do like it. I, I had a few teething problems with it and hated it at the beginning. But no, it's a very good little piece of kit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.